Hello everybody. Today I'd like to show you some of my early to mid archaic finds. Starting off with this LaCroix. This is not a classic example as most LaCroix would have shoulders on them. Some people might confuse this with a wheeler but the chipping is not the same. These were dark points. The next piece is called a Fox Valley. I don't find a lot of these in Central Kentucky. Very thin, very well made, as most early archaic pieces are. The next piece is called a Decatur. Now this is a classic example of the point type, having the clipped wings fractured base that is ground or polished, the fine serrations, and thin. This is not the most attractive of materials, but as we all know, they were utilitarian tools. Native Americans probably didn't care what it looked like. The next piece is called a heavy duty. Now, I don't know who named this point type, but that name fits it perfect. Very thick, very sturdy. If you notice, it's worked from the sides to the middle on both sides. Great serrations and a needle tip. Thick cross section. It's made of an attractive piece of Carter Cave chert. It's had a quartz inclusion in it. Runs through to both sides that has fallen out at some point. The next piece is called a lost lake. You notice the left hand bevel piece has great serrations and another needle tip. The day I found this piece, when I got to the field, the cattle had just stomped it to, to death. And with my expectations low and my hopes high, this is the piece I found. You know, you can be having a good day or a bad day, but... When you have found a good piece that was left behind by prehistoric man, it becomes a great day. You know, I've been fortunate to find lots of pine trees in my lifetime, but this has got to be my best. The flaking on this piece is outstanding. And to keep a needle tip out in the field, you know, what a rare occurrence that is. Okay, the next piece is a Kirk corner notched. Great material, great thinness on this piece.
attractive piece of Boyle's chert. And a needle tip. Just can't tell you how rare that is. Nine out of ten pieces that I find will be broke or have something broke on them. The next piece is a Cobbs. Archaeologists think these were preforms to the dovetails or the lost lakes. It's got a strong left hand bevel made of an attractive piece of Fort Payne shirt. right at four and three quarter inches long. Couple notches and you know, at a really fine point there. Okay, the last piece is a dovetail. This dovetail is made of a beautiful piece of Carter Cave shirt also. Strong serrations, outstanding flaking. Well, I've enjoyed sharing with you guys and gals. Hopefully I'll talk to you again soon.